Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today, I'm here to share with you all my summer TBR. Yes, I'm a mood reader. I find it difficult to stick to TBRs, but lately I've been able to do that a little bit more. But still, if I read half of these books that I'm gonna show you today, this summer during like the months of July, August, maybe the beginning of September, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. And the best thing that I love to do during the summer is just sit back, relax, and enjoy a good book. And these books that I have here are, I think, mostly very exciting standalone books that will keep my attention really well when I'm just chilling besides the pool. Let's just start with my summer TBR, shall we? But first, let's go to future Sabine telling you about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Oh my god, I don't think they know, but I'm kind of freaking out that they are sponsoring today's video because I love their surface so much. If you didn't know already, Skillshare is an online community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on basically all the topics that you can think of. So for instance, like illustration, photography, video, freelancing, and so many more topics. So a couple of classes that I am really interested in, the class of combining lettering and illustration in print create since I personally love hand lettering but I'm relatively new to digital illustration so with Skillshare I can improve that. Skillshare is there for anyone who is curious and who wants to learn. There are also no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription but the first 1,000 people that follow the link in my description box will get a free trial of premium membership on Skillshare. So thank you so much again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now let's go on with the video. <sighs> okay now we can share the summer TBR. <laughs> I'm gonna start off this list with two standalone books which I think will have a very mysterious great plot which will hook me from the beginning. So first I have The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp? I don't think you pronounce her last name as Sharpie, the pen. <laughs> All I know until so far is that our main character is a con artist and that she's kind of following the footsteps of her mom. But let's give the synopsis a little bit more attention, shall we? My name is Nora. To understand my story, you first have to know about the girls I've been. And that starts with my delightful con artist mother. Because I didn't choose a life of deception, I was born into it. That already got me hooked. Five years ago, I escaped and became Nora, who has a nice, normal life in a nice normal neighborhood until this morning when I found myself at gunpoint in the middle of a bank heist with my ex-boyfriend and my new girlfriend. Talk about awkward. The first thing I thought was get down. The second thing we're all gonna die because I stopped to buy donuts on the way to the bank. And the third and the third thing and the third thing wow that's very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> I'm the only one who can get us out of here alive because the gunmen have no idea who I really am. That girl has been hiding for far too long. It is also being made into a movie right now, which I think is very promising. And it has super short chapters. Like I said, the plot sounds like something that you can devour in like one to two days when you're just sitting beside the pool, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And who doesn't love reading a mystery when you're on vacation? I think I do. <laughs> and I looked at my shelves. I don't have too many mysteries on my physical TBR except for this one, which is One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. This is also like a sequel in the One of Us is Lying trilogy? I'm not too sure. I think it's going to become a trilogy right now, but I read One of Us is Lying in April or March this year. It was just a highly enjoyable YA murder mystery. I wasn't blown away by it, but it was just a lot of fun. And then a lot of you guys commented on my video saying that the sequel is even better. It takes place like in the same high school. I don't think we follow the same characters, but it involves a game of truth or dare gone wrong. Another year, another drama, a whole new set of rules. Babe, you High is just about recovered from the death of Gossip King Simon Kelleher, Kelleher a year ago. Now there's a new copycat in town who isn't ready to forget him just yet. A school-wide game of truth or dare seems fun, right? But this game is lethal. Choosing the truth may reveal your darkest secrets. Accepting the dare could be dangerous even fatal. The teenagers of Bayview must work together once again to find the culprit before it's too late. Dun, dun, dun. 
I think just as the first book in the series is gonna be a lot of fun, it's gonna keep me on the edge of my seat. So that is gonna be perfect. When you're on vacation, you have all the time there is in the world. So perhaps it should be a good idea to continue on with some series that I'm currently reading. And the one that I wanna read and finish this summer is The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. I actually started reading this, I think in May, question mark, but then I got intimidated by the size. This is a 600 page high fantasy adult fiction book, which is daunting to me, but I do have the audiobook. So if I have lots of noise around me, I can just put that on and get completely lost into this world of the poppy war that Arf Kwan has created. Like I said, the third and final book in the trilogy, and I think it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster. The poppy war trilogy really focuses a lot on war, war strategics, warfare, and could you say like mythology? Our main character is kind of linked to a fire god, which causes for a lot of mischief, mayhem, destruction, and intense stuff. If you haven't heard of this trilogy before, definitely check it out, give it a go. It is so exciting, heartbreaking, and just great overall. So let's try to tackle this 600 page book during the summer, shall we? Then I can also be so proud of my achievement that I have finally finished another series. I also love reading contemporaries and romances during the summer. I don't know what it is, but those two things go together so very well. And I desperately want to pick up City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Oh my God. I'm so excited to pick this one up because a lot of people have said, if you like Evelyn Hugo, Wait, I always mess up that title. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is one of my favorite books of all time, then you should definitely pick up City of Girls. Because this is also a historical adult fiction that takes place, I think here it says, in New York, 1940. Young, glamorous, and inseparable, Vivian and Celia, oh my god, that name is even mentioned in The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Conspiracy theories, where are they? <laughs> Vivian and Celia are chasing trouble from one end of the city to the other, but there is risk in all this play. That's what makes it so fun and so dangerous. Sometimes the world may feel like it's ending, but for Vivian and Celia, life is just beginning. City of Girls is about daring to break conventions and follow your desires, a celebration of glamour, resilience, growing up and the joys of female friendship, and about the freedom that comes from finding a place you truly belong. I don't know, I do get Evelyn Hugo vibes when I read the synopsis of this book. I've heard a couple of my friends say that it is just a ton of fun to read and even though it is like 500 pages almost you will fly through this and if this cover doesn't scream summer to you then I don't know what does. <laughs> I promised Lexi from Alexandra Roseland that I would be reading this book this summer because we are doing a secret TBR video and I didn't choose this book for that video, but it is one of her favorites. And then I made a promise that I would read it this summer. So I'm gonna try to keep that promise, Lexi. Okay, I'll I'll try. I'll really, really try. <laughs> and that is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Again, super summery cover. How many times can I say summer in this video? I don't know, but take a shot every time that I do. I promise you, you will get drunk. <laughs> this is also a booktube classic or like a book community classic. It's about twins who were very inseparable until this very tragic event happened. I don't know what it is, but they don't really talk to each other. However, they are both falling for boys they can't have. Love is complicated. I believe that you switch between their perspectives as well, but besides that, I have absolutely no clue what it is about, and that's all that I need to know, because Lexi loved it, so of course I have to pick it up then. And the last book or books that I want to talk about are romances or fun contemporaries. I'm not too sure yet. I want to pick up one of these three. Maybe you guys can help me in making a decision. I want to read either Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. This is a contemporary story set in Taiwan, I believe. Our main character, Evan Wong, has been sent to this boat camp during summer by her parents. She thinks it's gonna be a very strict educational program. However, it's a lot more like chaos and drama and drinking. Like it says here, the nightlife runs non-stop. I think it's about making fun memories during the summer, but also kind of figuring out what you wanna do with your future next. Seems like a fun and easy read to me. The second book that I can choose from this little pile is Anna K by Jenny Lee. This is the Dutch copy, which I got sent last 
May, not this May, last May in 2020 when it released. But this one especially is, I think, filled with drama. And that's all I know about it. <laughs> I've heard it's just filled with drama, but it's gonna be fun. And that it's inspired by Anna Kay. I don't know what kind of story Anna Kay is. I know that it's kind of like a classic one. So let me know if you have read this book and what did you think of it? Because I would be kind of going into this blindly since I don't know too much about it. I know it's set in Manhattan and it has rich families in it, I believe. And I think our main character has to figure something out with love. Very vague, I know, so help your girl out. And then last but definitely not least, I might be picking up Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. This is an adult romance, I believe. Trying to very briefly explain what I got from the synopsis, you have the characters Pepper Jack, from the cheese and they both have like fast food chains or like family restaurants but allegedly one of the two steals each other's recipes and they have like a big twitter war over it and then romance is involved it sounds cute i love the idea of like having a restaurant with the family so it sounds like a ton of fun so let me know in the comments down below which one of these three you think i should pick up because i am clueless so those were all the books that i would really really like to pick up this summer like i said I am a huge mood reader, so hopefully I will be able to finish at least half of the books that I showed you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere on the screen or in the button down below, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>